Hello again, this is Preheat. Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. So today we're going to be looking at how to set up personalized augmentation evoker frames. I know a lot of you have been seeing these in my previous videos I've been putting out from PTR testing. And uh, today I'm going to show you exactly how to get these things set up. Uh, so to start things off, we need an add-on called Voodoo. And you don't actually have to set up this thing. You don't have to use it for your raid frames. We're actually just going to be using it for the quote unquote private tanks feature because that's what we're gonna use for augmentation. So um, I have my profile here and I am gonna post it in the video. So if you wanna just download my profile, you can do that. But be aware that having the profile alone is not enough to make this work. You're gonna to have to do a little bit of setup. So there is some assembly required, uh, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So number one, what we're gonna do is reset our Voodoo just to show you uh, what this is gonna look like whenever you first set it up. So I'm just gonna reset everything real quick here. And so this is going to be what it looks like whenever you first set up your Voodoo. You're going to have like this weird box over here that just says a bunch of like no focus, no NPC, all this stuff. And then you also have your normal frames over here as well. Um, so we're going to import my profile as the first step. So click on your little Voodoo icon or type slash V-U-H-D-O. And uh, that's going to bring up this UI. It looks very early aughts. We're going to click on where it says tools and then we're going to click import. And then you're going to take my profile, the one that's labeled profile, and you're going to paste it in here. After that, you're going to click OK. It's going to say, do you want to import? You say yes. And then very important, you need to click the little drop down and then choose the profile right here and then click apply. Yes. After you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to copy or override. I'm going to click override here. Um, I'm going to reload my UI just real quick here, though. OK, so you'll notice that whenever this is done, you don't have any frames. The best thing you can do to test this, though, is target yourself and then type slash VD space PT. And what should happen is you should have a little box that shows up here. This is where we get to the part two of where we need to set up some things. Um, so click on video again. And then this time we're going to want to copy the one for my prescience. Once we've copied this, we're going to click on where it says bouquets and you're going to click import and you're going to paste it in and click OK, click yes. And that will bring in one called my prescience. Next up is going to be other prescience. Same deal as before. Copy it. Go over here, click import, paste it, click OK, yes. All right, so now we have two of those there. So you'll notice that one is called Prescience, one is called My Prescience right there. See the two? Now, the third one is DPS cooldowns, and this one's a little bit bigger. You don't actually need this one, but I like it. It shows people's cooldowns whenever they're up. Same deal, you import it, click OK, yes, and there you go. And you can see all the list of buffs here. By the way, if you want to add more buffs to this, all you have to do is click where it says uh, Enter Debuff here, Buff here. Make sure you turn Glossy into None Default and then just put the name of the buff and then click add. So for instance, if I want to add Blessing of the Bronze, I would just type in Blessing of the Bronze. I would make sure that I have it set so it's none, and then make sure you have others checked and click add. That's gonna make it so it'll track Blessing of the Bronze as well. Now that's done, as soon as I buff myself with Blessing of the Bronze, it should show up on the frame here. Now, if it doesn't do that, what you need to do is click where it says panels. You're gonna to wanna to click where it says hot icons, and this should automatically be set here in slot seven to DPS cooldowns, but if it's not, Click the drop down and then click DPS cooldowns. Okay, slot seven is in the middle. If you want to adjust how big this is, you can always click on where it says more here and you can adjust the size of this icon like I'm doing like this. The other one will need to be set up. So we need to go back and uh, in the top left, we want to choose other prescience. So that's other people's. This is just the all caps prescience right here. And then in the top right, we want to put our prescience. So that's going to be my prescience right here. And same deal, if you want to change the icons, you can do that. Uh, the reason why we have two here is this one is for other people's prescience, and it's going to show a little white icon up here in the top left, little asterisks. And then the slot number two, this is going to be my prescience, okay? So just as an example, I'm just going to click prescience. You see it there, little icon, great. But that's not enough. We actually want to go a step further. So click where it says hot bars, and then choose this bottom one here, or whichever one you prefer. I like the bottom one, though. And then on slot one, you're going to click this and you're going to click my prescience. And this gives you this nifty little bar. They'll actually show you the progress. So if I prescience myself there, you see how it fills up. Uh, by the way, if you want to change the way this bar looks, all you need to do is go back to the bouquets. We need to choose the one for my prescience. And then right here, this is where we can change the color of that bar. So if you, if you want it to be something different, 
Uh, just go in here and make whatever adjustment you want to. And then uh, once you're done, make sure you click OK. So another thing we're going to want to do here is make it so that whenever we actually click this frame, it does something other than living flame, which is the default. So once again, open up Voodoo, or you can just type slash Voodoo, right? And then you're going to click where it says spells. This is the second tab. And we're going to choose this left button one or whichever one you prefer. And we're going to type out prescience. And if we do that, what should happen is if we click it, it should give us a prescience buff, right? See that? We have that nice buff. And if I click it again, it will override the buff. This way, you don't have to actually worry about like keybinding anything. You just click on the people's frames and you buff them. Uh, and then the last thing is if we want to actually move this, you just click on the tab that says move. And then you should be able to just drag this thing. Make sure you grab it by the panel one up here, because if you drag this, this is moving it to a different box. We don't want that. We want to drag the entire box. So you can just put this like wherever you feel uh, is good. Or sometimes if you just click on general, you get the same little tab here, panel one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in gray there. As long as you grab it by that little panel, you can just put it wherever you want. Okay, and uh, at this point, we've pretty much set up exactly the way we want to. I'm just going to note one thing here. So the way we make this show up, I, I kind of glossed over really quick there, but you type slash VD space PT. That's going to make it either appear or disappear. And in order for this to show other people, you'll need to be in a party with them. So like if I click a person and I type slash VD PT, it's not going to do anything to that person. Uh, but this does work on yourself because technically you're always in a party with yourself. But my favorite thing to do is just to make a macro and actually key bind this thing. So here I have my macro voodoo PT and it just does slash VD space PT. I'll do this before combat, basically designating which targets are going to be like on my prescient speed dial, so to speak. And then um, when they leave the raid, it automatically removes them from the list. So I don't have to worry about that. If they change roles, I can see that with the little icon right there. Um, and this is going to allow me to always have the ability to just choose exactly who I want, right? I don't want to see anyone else. I don't want to know anything else. I just want to have my speed dial right here. And uh, this is going to allow for that. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to this. If you want my grid two profile, that one's actually a lot easier to set up since it's already kind of wrapped up already. You just need to download my profile. That will also be in the description below on this video if you want to get that. So going into this, one concern I had whenever it came to running two different unit frames because I'm using Voodoo and grid two. Um, it's just like how much of a footprint it has on my RAM and how it might affect my game performance. So what I did was I basically stripped out all of the other features, anything else that might be causing that. Uh, but if you are curious about how to change this stuff, if it's not updating fast enough for you or anything like that, you can click on the general tab and then click on scanners. This is going to be where a lot of the impact of the add-on actually comes from, aside from the other tracking. So I have mine set to 500 MS. Um, this obviously you can change yourself, right? It is going to be a little delayed. You'll notice there's a very slight delay whenever you have any sort of buff or you click something off. Uh, it might take a second to update. Th that is because the global scanner is turned down. The higher you have this turned up, the more impact this add-on is going to have. Uh, same goes for the range one. One thing I really like about this is that if someone is out of range, it will actually show you which direction they are from you. You get a little arrow on their frame showing you which direction you need to move. And that is so great because there's sometimes where you want to buff someone with prescience and they're out of range because you're 25 yards. I think in general, prescience needs to probably have its range increased. But yeah, having it at least show you which direction to move is going to be helpful. So anyways, let me know if this helps you or if you have any improvements to this add-on. Always open to feedback on this. Um, but I think I've gotten it set up at least in a way that works for me. Um, and, uh, of course, if I have more additions to this, more changes, I'll be posting them in my discord, but, uh, thank you all for watching this video. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and hopefully I see you in the next one.